Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. And I'm here with another Atlantic League game. And today we're going to take on the New York Yankees. Now let's look at the standings in the Atlantic League um, as they currently are. As you can see, the Yankees are leading the American League East right now, or the Atlantic League East, as we would call it. Uh, they are 27-19 and 19 and only a game ahead of Boston and only a game and a half ahead of Baltimore. However, uh, our Chicago White Sox are in second place at 25-23 and 23 and three games behind the Cleveland Indians. And so, w with that in mind, we are going to uh, go ahead and get on with the game. So today, as you can see, we're playing the uh, Yankees, and they have Jim Abbott going. We have Scott Sanderson going. Um, they, uh, yeah, this is set up for us to be human. Sanderson on the mound. Our lineup is going to be Lance Johnson in center field, Joey Cora at second, Frank the Big Hurt Thomas at first base, Robin High Ventura at third base, Bill Melton, Belton Bill Melton at DH. Carlton Fisk will be the catcher. Ozzie Guillen is the shortstop. Tim Raines in left field and Newsom in Newsom in right field. Uh, on the mound, they will have Jim Abbott, the lefty, with uh, that being his only hand. And uh, the lineup will be Luis Polonia at DH. Willie Randolph at second, batting second. Paul O'Neill in right field, Wade Boggs at third base, Jim Leyritz at catcher, Danny Tartable in left field, Bernie Williams in center, Don Mattingly at first, and Mike Gallego at shortstop. And with that in mind, all of that, take it all in, we are going to get on with the game. So you got Lance Johnson batting against Jim Abbott. And that's going to be a ground ball to Randolph, and there's going to be uh, a check on that, but he got him. And Randolph is a good fielding second baseman with Cora coming up to the plate. And Cora's going to rip a single. So he goes, uh, he goes to right field with a hit. Frank Thomas is up. I'm not doing any tricks with Frank Thomas, but he's going to ground into a double play eventually after this foul ball. Um... So, we will be out of the inning as Randolph makes that play. And we get nothing in the first inning. And the Yankees are coming bad against Sanderson. This is his first appearance of the year. And he allows a single to the first batter he faces for the season, and that is Polonia. So, Polonia's aboard. He can steal. Willie Randolph is up. And he's going to hit a ground ball to our second baseman, Cora. Let's see if Cora... No, he can't make the play. The ball gets past Cora into the outfield. Runners are at the corners with Polly O'Neill up. And there, uh, Sanderson threw over to try to get him. And it's going to be a home run for O'Neill. And all of a sudden, we're down 3 nothing. Wait a minute. Is it? Yep, it is. So we are down 3-0 here, and Wade Boggs is the batter, and he's going to single, and Sanderson is just uh, he's just giving away the farm here. We have no way of knowing that he was that bad. He does get a strikeout, though. He's going to strike out Lairitz for the first out of the inning. But the, Yan the Yankees are already up 3-0, though. And Tartable is the batter, and Tartable is going to hit a single double asterisk. And they're... No, it's not. It's no. Huh. I don't know how that's not even possible. But there's runners at first and second with Bernie Williams up. And that's going to be a line-out max, thank God. So we get out of the inning with no further damage, but the damage is bad enough. It's 3-0. As we go to the top of the second, and Ventura up, and Ventura is going to hit a double, leadoff double, shopping at the gap for Robin High Ventura. And Belton Bill Melton is up, and he's going to ground out to short. So there's one down, and Carlton Fisk is the batter, and he's going to strike out. The problem with this lineup is there's a lot of guys that are like feast or famine. They're going to hit a home run or they're going to strike out. 
like Fisk and like Melton. Gian is the batter, and Gian is going. Is that going to be a home run? Does he have the power? He does not have the power, but he should drive Ventura home, and he does. So it's three one, and Reigns Rock Reigns is going to hit to third base to Boggs into a double play. We did get one of the runs back. We go to the top of the second or the uh, bottom of the second inning. Down three to one with Mattingly up, and Mattingly is going to hit a home run. My God, Sanderson. Can you at least slow them down a little bit? So, Mattingly hits a home run, and Gallego is up. Hopefully that'll be an out, and it is. It's going to be a pop-out to shortstop. So there's one down for the Yankees here in the second inning, but we're losing 4-1. to one. Polonia is the batter, and he is going to get a base hit, as I think he led off the game doing, and he did, so he's 2-2. Two for two. And he's going to try to steal. I'm going to try to throw him out, and I'm not going to get him. So Willie Randolph is now the batter, and he's going to line out to first base. I'd be happy to get out of this inning with just the, the fourth run being allowed. But it's not going to happen because there's another home run by O'Neill, who is now an incredible two-for-two two on the day with, like, four runs batted, four or five runs batted in. O'Neill has been a fire in Sanderson's face. And now uh, Boggs is up, and Boggs is going to hit a triple. You know, at this point, we really should just keep Sanderson out there. I mean, I'm not going to burn through my bullpen in a game that I've already lost. But you might want to stick around just to see how bad Sanderson does. He's bad. he's pitching against Leyritz. That's going to be a pop-out to... Um, no, no, it isn't an out. Even Fisk couldn't make that play. And so now we've got a ground out to third base, which will finally get us out of the inning, but we are losing 7-1 to one to um, Abbott, and that's going to be a ground ball by Newson. So this is not going to help us at all. I mean, you know, we're, we're not going to be doing very well. <laughs> Johnson is aboard. He gets aboard with a hit. Core is up. He's one for one on the day, and uh, there is going to be a... Uh, pass ball or a wild pitch. Core is going to hit the ball to left field where Tartable is. It could be a base hit because that's Tartable. And it does fall in front of him for another run, but that only makes it 7-2. to two. Unless Thomas can jack one here. He can't, but he does get a base hit. So there's two runners aboard. I'm not sending any runners because we need the runs. Ventura is up at the plate, and he's going to strike out for the second out. And that brings up Belton, Bill Melton, and he's going to get a single. Maybe we can send Cora on this, and we really should. So we get a run at 7-3. to three. Another run, and Fisk is up. And that is going to be a ball, is it? No, it's off the glove again. So Leyritz couldn't handle it, but that's a pop-out by Fisk, and so we're out of the inning. But we're going to the bottom of the third, down 7-3. to three. Let's see if we can make this comeback. That's going to be a ground ball to Thomas. So there's one down quickly. Williams is out. Mattingly is up. Mattingly's going to walk, though. He's one for one with a walk and a home run on the day. Gallego is the batter. Gallego is going to hit a fielder's choice second to second base, Cora. And uh, the runner's at second. And Polonia, who's two for two, and he's three for three. This guy is incredible. All right, let's see. We're going to try to throw him out because we have to try to throw him out. And did we? We did. So it is still 7-3. to three. Great play by the defense is what it took to keep the score at seven runs for the Yankees. We go to the top of the fourth, and Guillen is up, and he is going to be out. He's going to line out. And Reigns is the batter. Reigns is going to line out. I mean, it's not that we haven't hit this game. It's not that we haven't produced offense. We have. We just haven't. Uh, we just haven't been uh, able to keep pace with the Yankees' run output. And Johnson is going to get a single double asterisk, or it should be, but maybe it's not. It is. So Cora's up with runners at the corners, and he's two for two. But he can't go three for three. He's going to hit a fly ball. 
We're going to be out of the inning, and we're still losing 7-3 to three going to the bottom of the fourth. Let's see if Sanderson can put up another goose egg inning. That's going to be to the catcher, and it is an out. So Fisk makes that play. O'Neal is 3-for-3 three three with three home runs. I really should stop pitching to O'Neal because he has Sanderson's number. So that's going to make it 8-3 for the Yankees. And that brings up Wade Boggs, and he's going to walk. This Yankee lineup is incredible. I mean, or, or it's just that Sanderson is terrible, and that could be it too. There's going to be a ground ball out there to Cora. It's an X, so let's see if he can make the play. Not in time, but um, it's probably he got the lead runner. He did. So there's two down and Tartable up at the plate, and he's going to walk. Bernie Williams is the batter, and he's going to line out. I may take uh, Sanderson out next inning. He's pitched four, um, four very bad, uh, forgettable innings. Ground ball to third base. That's Boggs. Boggs isn't a bad fielder at third, but it got through anyway. So Thomas is uh, on base with Ventura up, and he's going to hit a ground ball to Randolph, which might be a double play, but let's see. Not in time, no. So it's only a fielder's choice. And Melton, Belton, Bill Melton is up and he's going to fly out. So that's going to be two down. And Carlton Fisk up. And Carlton Fisk is going to be out. All right, let's start Sanderson this inning at least and see what happens. There's a fly ball, so he gets us out of that. Because I really don't want to burn the bullpen up and ruin it for other games where we would potentially have a better chance of winning. There's a walk to Gallego. Now that's a bad sign because he's the worst hitter in their lineup. And now a 3-for-3 three three guy comes up and he's going to be 4-for-4. Four four. Unbelievable what the Yankees are doing to Sanderson here. So we're going to go to the bullpen. So let's see here. Who do I want to bring in? I guess we got to bring in Wilbur Wood, right? Wood will come in and pitch. And he's going to allow a single. I mean, he's, he's, not, he's not immune from this Yankee lineup. We're going to throw for the lead runner, and he, we don't get him. And so O'Neal, three for three with three home runs, and he's going to fly out here. But that should knock in a run. And I mean, this guy has been unbelievable. And Boggs is up. There's two out. We're losing 10-3. And that's going to be an out. So we're losing 10-3 here in the top of the sixth with Guillen up. we got to start mounting some kind of an offense. We get a single off of Abbott, so Guillen hits a leadoff single. Reigns is the batter, but Reigns is going to hit him to a double play. And that brings up Newsom, and Newsom's going to fly out. So, uh, Wood is out there for his next inning of work, and he strikes out Layeritz to start it off. So we're down by seven here. Don't really give us a lot of uh, hope of uh, coming back. He strikes out Tartable. And Williams is up. And Williams is going to walk. I think the Yankees have had a guy on base every single inning. Mattingly is up at the plate. He's one for two with a home run. I'm going to throw for the runner. It's not going to be a good a, an out. And then there's a single by Mattingly that should knock in the run. And it does, and so it's 11-3, to three, and Gallego is the batter, and he's going to fly out to Newsom. Lance Johnson is our batter. We're down 11-3 to here in the top of the seventh. Cora is up, and he is going to get a double or a single, a single, because he doesn't have the power for a home run. Thomas is up, and Thomas is going to hit a ground ball back to the pitcher. And that's going to be an E1, so we got two guys on with one out and Ventura up. 
and he is going to pop out. So there's two down and Belton Bill Melton at the plate and he is going to single. He hits a single and this should drive in Cora. Well, it will when I send him. And uh, trailing runner is 45%. I'm going to hold the trailing runner. And did he make it? He did. So it's 11 to 4. And uh, Fisk up. And he's going to hit a ground ball to first, but that's Mattingly Gold Glover over there. And that is going to be it. So, um, Polonia is the batter. He's four for four, and we're going to take Wood out right now. We're going to put in a guy. Let's see. Cook is doing terrible. So, let's put Cook out there. And he, that's going to be a strikeout. He strikes out Polonia. Dennis Cook getting Polonia. Randolph is the batter, and he's going to single. That is going to be his third hit of the day. It seems like that's a common theme with these guys. O'Neill, who's three for three, and he hits another home run. Do you believe this? Four home runs for Paul O'Neill in this game. Unbelievable. I just, it's, uh, I, I wish I was doing the season. Oh, wait a minute. I am. So anyway, <laughs> Wade Boggs is going to fly out. Uh, we really need to look at O'Neill's stats uh, after this game is over because he's gotten four home runs alone in this um, game. So a fly out to Johnson. And uh, so we're up at the plate, but we're down 13-4 in the top of the eighth inning. That's going to be a ground out for Gian. Abbott going, looks like he's going to go the distance. Um, and why not? Uh, Reigns is up. Reigns will hit a double. So he's going to go shopping at the gap, but it's a little late and a little less than what we need. We need a uh, nine-run home run. Newsom is up, and that is going to be a base hit that should drive in Reigns. So it's going to be 13-5. And Johnson is up. Maybe they're going to make a pitching change here. They do. They bring in Steve Howe. And uh, Johnson is going to greet Howe with a single that's going to score a run. And so now it's 13-6, to six and Cora is the batter. Cora not doing bad on the day, but he flies out here. For the second out of the eighth, the top of the eighth. And Frank Thomas is the batter, and he is going to ground out to Howe. So uh, it's 13 to 6, and uh, Cook is still out there, and he walks Tartable. Look at all those walks on that card versus a lefty. But he strikes out Bernie Williams. So there's one down, one man on. And uh, Don Mattingly up. And Don Mattingly is going to line out. There's two down, and Gallego is the batter. And he is going to hit a ground out to short. Cook gets us out of that inning, but it's 13-6. We need uh, seven runs off of Howe, or Howe and some other pitchers, if we were to get to Howe. There's a fly ball to center field, but that's Williams. He should play that, and he does, and there's one down. Belton Bill Melton is two for four, and he is going to ground out. And uh, Carlton Fisk is the batter, and he is going to strike out. And that will be it for us. We lose this game big time, but don't go away. we got to look at the box score. Uh, Sanderson went four and a third, gave up 12 hits and 10 earned runs. Not the way he wanted to do his... Uh, 1994 Atlantic League debut. Wood went one and two thirds and allowed a run. Cook went two and allowed two earned runs. Abbott though went seven and a third, allowed 14 hits and five earned runs. So we it's not like we didn't hit Abbott. We just got hit really a lot worse. And uh, then you can see over here where's O'Neill four for four, 
with four home runs and nine RBIs. O'Neill really did us in. And now we're going to look at the uh, New York Yankees team stats and look at O'Neill. O'Neill is hitting 312, 186 at bats, and 20 home runs. He's on some kind of a pace. That's something we want to keep an eye on for sure. So anyway, uh, that is it. And so like, we'll take a look at the final stand or the standings after this game. We are still only three games behind Cleveland because apparently they lost, but we're 25 and 24, just above 500. And the Yankees are still only a game ahead of Boston because Boston apparently won, and so did Baltimore, and they're a game ahead, a game and a half ahead of Baltimore. So that is it. That's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.